Okay, a lot of you probably don't realize this, but the old salt miner is also a ham radio operator. And uh, the other day I was at a swap meet, and I ran across this radio, a used one. It's a TYT. And it's uh, basically it's a 2 meter and 70 centimeter radio. What's that mean? Well, 2 meter is the very common band um, in ham radio. It's kind of like the uh, walkie-talkie uh, band. Um, in ham radio, they use a lot of repeaters. And so this radio will uh, um, hook to that repeater when I key it up if I'm on the right frequency and and it will broadcast and use that repeater to capture that signal and rebroadcast it at a stronger power to go out farther and then automatically it switches to a different one because when the uh, repeater broadcasts it's at a different frequency of course and uh, <clears throat> And so this one automatically changes between those two, which is not a big deal. All of these radios do that nowadays. Um, I think that's called... Well, I'm not going to say what I think that's called. Um, and 440, which is the 70 centimeter range, 70 centimeter antenna, um, it... Uh, it's probably not used so much around here, but it, it can be used to do a lot of different things. Um, I got a real good deal. Um, I'm not going to say how much I gave for it, but I didn't give that much for it. Um, I got the radio. And then I got a bunch of extras. Um, extra battery. Um, and also a uh, uh, device to... Uh, to operate the battery off of uh, power. Um, this is a 12 volt plug. This is the extra battery. And uh, something that's kind of nifty. And this is a double uh, A battery holder. So if your other batteries go out, you can have some of those in reserve. Also came with uh, um, computer uh, hookup to uh, program it and a thing they call a nifty card this the guy had to buy extra and this has kind of a um, abridged um, instructions so i uh, i've been kind of out of the ham deal for um several years now and i'm getting older and thinking about setting it up so so i bought the radio and uh here in a minute I went to Kansas City to a radio shop up there when I was up there and I bought an antenna and I'm going to show you how I mount and and build this antenna and uh, on the roof so this ought to be interesting me getting on the roof with a camera and an antenna so when you talk to you I'll be taking some pipe apart and showing you how I'm building building that and how I will connect the Intended to the pipe and then how I'll mount the pipe to the building and uh, Run the coax cable in to the radio. They'll give me a lot better range and uh, than just the handy talky Little bitty antenna that that comes on it Okay, so now you can see uh, I've put together some uh, one inch steel plumbing pipe and build a support pole that comes off my garage peak um, and then goes up in the air from which I will put the two meter antenna mounted to the very top up there. I'm going to run the cable down and then in right above the window there. It's the 4th of July in case you're wondering what all this noise is and uh, and run my uh, cable to my two meter radio so here you can see i just use a uh, plumbing flange 
um, to hold the uh, whole thing to the garage. There's the pole. And the ideal here is that I can unscrew this union right here and then this whole apparatus will tilt on that uh, elbow and uh, tilt over and I can put the antenna on. Now the problem is Cox has got two lines right here and I've asked them to move them and uh, they're supposed to come in and reroute these lines. Now I have a feeling I'm going to have a pretty good fight to get that done but uh, I I shall prevail there you can see the three-quarter inch plastic pipe I'm gonna run the coaxial cable through um, it's actually gonna have an elbow right there and a little short stub pipe and then I'll tack it down that white uh, right there and then to the pipe and then back up <clears throat> well I'm finally ready to put my antenna on my antenna mast and uh, as you can see looking up the sky here um, Cox communication has come in and moved all their lines for me which was a pleasant surprise uh, there's my tools and there is the antenna we're going to set on the top of that tower and the first chore is going to be to loosen up the uh, union and uh, um, swing that whole mass down and then I can attach the antenna and swing it back up and uh, away we go okay so there we have the union disconnected and pipe wrench is hanging there the other pipe is where the uh, um, coax will come out and attach um, and there is the mast laying on the roof okay so I've got her done and you can see how it's all put together now there's my pipe with my cable coming out of the building goes down secured by a clamp right here cable comes out tied to the mast support and then follows up the mast all the way up to the antenna. This idea with the union is, I'm sure it's not, it's not an original idea, but it works fantastic. Only thing I might do that I haven't done is uh, stuff a little insulation up in the end of that. Um, keep the bugs from uh, climbing in. And uh, I kind of wish that up there where the antenna, where the cable goes into the antenna at the bottom there, I kind of wish I had to stuff something in there, which I'll probably go ahead and do here um, because gosh that looks like a perfect place for wasps okay a couple pictures and uh, I'm done with this project